are you? Rook Blanco, Magister Tennyson said. Benton Classic, Benton Alien Force, and Benton Ultimate Alien have been some of the most popular animated series in Cartoon Network's history. However, the Benton franchise wasn't done yet. It was time for the fourth, and perhaps series final installment, that would take the Benton story to a whole new level. Hello, and welcome back to Cartoon Panda, where we travel back in time and peek into our favorite cartoons. Today, we are here with Ben 10 Omniverse. This cartoon series aired on Cartoon Network from September 22nd, 2012 to November 14th, 2014 in the United States, and it took an innovative approach to its release structure. Instead of the traditional season-based episode release, Ben 10 Omniverse adopted a serialized format. This format has eight 10-episode story arcs, each providing a deep dive into the Ben 10 universe. Arc 1, Episode 1 the more things change part one and two five years ago ben 10 and his forearms farm battled malware a red galvanic mechamorph ben defeated malware using his transformation into feedback fast forward to the present day ben gwen and kevin chase after zombozo who has stolen a brain from bellwood's brain bank after capturing zombozo gwen and kevin plan to leave bellwood gwen will skip high school grades to go to college while kevin will stay near gwen's campus to work leaving ben alone later ben discovers a secret underground alien city known as Undertown, beneath Bellwood, where he battles different enemies, including Kyber's pet, alien criminals demanding Tatanite for protection, and Siphon, an old enemy aiming to extend his protection racket to human businesses on the surface. Throughout these battles, Ben is accompanied by Rook, a plumber sent by Max as Ben's new partner. Initially, Ben hesitated to trust Rook, but after defeating Bug Lizard and Siphon and restoring peace, Ben accepted Rook as his partner over a meal of chili fries. Arc 1, Episode 3, A Jolt from the Past. The episode begins with the grand opening of Mr. Smoothie in Bellwood, where a destructive Nosdinian appears. Despite Ben's initial victory over it, he soon finds himself overwhelmed as the creature multiplies. However, Ben, remembering his electric base form feedback, manages to neutralize the Nosdinians. This event is followed by a five-year jump where Ben and his new partner Rook patrol Bellwood. Their duties are interrupted when they stumble upon an extraterrestrial phone. Pursuing its owner, Corvo leads to a chase through the city and an unexpected encounter with the Nosdinian. A further investigation reveals a machine powered by captive Nosdinians, leading to a confrontation with the thug leader Fishtrick. Ben, transforming into a new alien Gravatac, battles Fishtrick in a solid suit powered by the Nosdinians. Using his newfound gravity powers, Gravatac defeats Fishtrick, frees the Nosdinians, and and puts an end to the illegal alien tech business. The episode concludes with Ben and Rook deciding between smoothies or chili fries for a post-battle snack. Arc 1, Episode 8, Hot Stretch. In this episode, Bellwood is hit by a heat wave. A girl named Esther is seen running through the town with a nuclear fusion device. Ben and Rook join the police's pursuit of Esther across the rooftops. However, the chase leads them to Undertown. Ben and Rook are forced to tackle various challenges. They confront the Kraho, an alien tribe freezing in the heat, who demands the fusion device. Then Esther, revealed to be a half Kraho, joins them, causing a conflict. The Kraho use a device to create magma spouts, warming up their cavern but causing destruction on the surface. Esther, regretting her actions, helps Ben and Rook to stop the Kraho's plan by leading them to a hotspot, the Kraho's residence in Undertown. Ben, as energy, manages to eat the fusion engine, destroys the machine, and stop the lava flow. The episode ends with Esther becoming the Kraho leader after defeating their previous leader, Seabig. She promises peaceful coexistence with the Undertown and shares a warm moment with Ben. The episode ends with Ben and Rook enjoying lemonade, while Ben contacts and place the possibility of a real relationship with Esther. Arc 2, Episode 1, Outbreak. The episode opens with Dr. Psychobos experiencing issues with the Nematrix, shifting Kyber's pet between various alien forms. He decides to steal apart from Ben's Omnitrix to fix it. In Bellwood, during Ben and Rook's training, Dr. Psychobos arrives, steals the Omnitrix part, and escapes. The Omnitrix then begins to glitch, causing several transformation into different alien hybrids. Struggling against transformed prisoners, Ben temporarily transformed into an alien called Walkatrop. Suggest Rook to use his 
uses new form's power to fend off the attackers. Despite their form, they manage to repel the first wave of transformed prisoners. As this occurs, Siphon threatens to pull Bellwood into the Null Void, causing Rook to assemble a counter team. Despite his temporary form as a yellow blob, Ben convinces Rook to allow him to join the team, where his knowledge helps neutralize the criminals. Ben then defeats Liam in his new alien form, kicking hot, after returning back to his human form. However, back in Psychobos's lair, the stolen Omnitrix piece is inserted into the Nematrix, and it becomes clear that their primary target was never Ben, but as Smooth. Arc 2, Episode 2. Many happy returns. The following episode starts with a burning building in Bellwood, from which Ben, in the form of Wrath, rescues a girl named Madison and her doll. Surprisingly, Gwen and Kevin make an appearance, assisting in Wrath's rescue option. After the successful rescue, the team catches up with Mr. Smoothie, where Kevin requests Ben to hide him. Suddenly, they come under attack from a spaceship, ensuing a chase and fight with Ben as blocks, eventually grounding the ship. Upon landing in Undertown, their suspicions about Ben and Kevin's behavior grow. Their their hiding spot is blown up, and a Tetra man named Princess Luma Redwind arrives to claim her husband Kevin. After a series of fights and escapes, Kevin reveals that he has been engaged to Luma in exchange for a piece of technology. Luma's father, Warlord Gar Redwind, arrives demanding Kevin or else he will destroy Earth. Ben, transforming into multiple aliens, challenges Luma to a fight, finally defeating her as forearms. The team soon discovers that according to Tetra man tradition, Luma must now marry the male who defeats her. With which in this case is Ben. The episode ends with the team leaving Ben who mutters Kevin is so dead and Gar announcing a return in three years for the wedding. Arc 4 Episode 7 the ultimate heist. This exciting episode starts with Ben and Rook chasing a truck driven by a holographic driver, which is under the control of none other than Inspector 13. Inspector 13 unveils himself as an independent dealer of an illegal alien technology commanding Tekadon robots to attack. Meanwhile, Rook grows suspicious of Ben's unusually refined behavior and reluctance to transform into certain aliens. Their pursuit leads them to Undertown, where they enlist Argit to gather information and eventually locate Inspector 13's warehouse. Rook doesn't know it, but the Ben he's with is not Ben. It's Albedo in disguise, pretending to be Ben. Albedo is using this chance to steal something called a polymorphic crystal. Then the real Ben arrives, leading to a showdown where he and Albedo morph into various powerful forms. The battle ends with Albedo being abducted to a mysterious ship, leaving Ben and Rook bewildered. The episode ends with Albedo, now labeled to maintain his original Galvin form, transforming into ultimate Albedo and declaring that even as Muth will bow to him. Thus, he and Kyber prepare for the next phase of their plan. Arc 6, Episode 4, Cough It Up. The episode begins with Sunder attacking Sock Vendor in search of some undisclosed information. Uh, ben arrives as Bull Weevil, but sadly gets trapped. Luckily, Spanner, a new character, helps free Ben. They discover bounty hunters are seeking something in Undertown. In a bar called the Black Hole, Spanner proves his skills by defeating a bouncer, and they learn a valuable object was stolen recently. Soon, they find out that these bounty hunters are after Argit, who has a cube with a dehydrated army of Tekadon robots. Argit is kidnapped after a fierce fight, and in a surprising move, he swallows the cube. When Argit coughs up the rehydrated Tekadon robot, a chaotic fight starts with Ben, Rook, and Spinner battling the enemies. Ben uses Topic to scare Argit into throwing up the cube, which Argit uses to drive the hunters away. The episode ends with Argit being celebrated as a hero, and Jimmy insisting that he was hiding throughout the entire ordeal, despite Ben and Rook's suspicions. Arc 8, Episode 10, A New Dawn. Uh, this is the final episode of the series, and it's packed full of action and surprises. Maltrant, a villain, attempts to escape through time with Ben and Rook hot on his heels. They end up up in the time of George Washington and come face to face with a young Vilgax and some scary zombie redcoats. Vilgax is tricked by Maltron into repairing his chariot in exchange for a dangerous time bomb. Ben fights them off by transforming into different aliens. They find themselves in a strange void on a ship belonging to the Contamilia, 
who are busy creating a new universe. Maltron plans to steal this universe and make it his own, but Ben has feedback, absorbs the energy from the universe maker and uses it to defeat Maltron. The Contamulia are so impressed they invite Ben and Rook to watch the universe being created. The episode wraps up with Professor Paradox announcing that Maltron is trapped in an endless time loop. With the parts of the defeated villain hidden across the multiverse, Ben and Rook head home. Feeling a bit bored now that they're back, Ben suggests a road trip to the new universe with Gwen and Kevin, ending the series with excitement and anticipation. So, this was the entire story of Ben 10 Omniverse, a thrilling adventure that takes viewers on a journey through different dimensions and timeline. Along the way, Ben and his team face challenges, making new friends and allies, and defeating enemies. But most importantly, they learn valuable lessons about teamwork, responsibility, and the consequences of their actions. Let us know in the comments which cartoon series you want us to cover next. Till then, goodbye!